walking towards these goals. Um, so at 18, you think you want to be an architect or an interior designer or a product designer. Doesn't mean you have to die at 60 being an architect or a product designer. Change your journey along the way. And you're always looking for, but you're not going to commit to that size. So there's always a need to change the size of the storage based on the configuration. So the left-hand side mock-up which you saw was very easy, right? So we tested it out, we did a mock-up. It seemed convenient. It's an obsession. It's something that I seek out even. So these are just words, you know, it's geared, random, dared, inspired, powered. I mean, everything is red. So when you're kind of following your journey, you always bump into your, um, your tribe. So the key aspect is that it's about 10 years of foyer, and so I said, okay, let me sort of break it up into 10 lessons or 10 mistakes, but I couldn't find 10 of either. So now I have five lessons and five mistakes that have kind of broken it up. Um, so it starts off basically uh, we're in, uh, yeah, we're red, there's me, Ekta, and Maithili. Uh, I start off my journey as a student of architecture, and inherently, like many students, I'm sure, I was kind of lazy, complacent, laid back, you know, rushing at the last minute to pull things together. Basically, I had this teacher, Amita Kanekar, and she's now in Goa, she's an accomplished writer. And uh, she kind of said that, Rajiv, you know, uh, you just get away with crap because you have the gift of the gab. Um, so that's what I'm going to do today. You know, I'm going to, I don't know much about anything, but I'm going to play the role of a gyandu. Uh, this is a forward someone sent me. Uh, but that's what uh, is the thought today, and that's 8 minutes 33 seconds. Okay, thanks, Shantanu. Um, so I think something that woke me up uh, from my slumber um, as a complacent, laid-back architecture student kind of putting shit together last minute uh, was my wife, Ekta. Uh, so I think lesson number one would be to find that one person who's your sounding board, uh, who sort of uh, inspires you to be the best version of yourself. Uh, if not much else, that kind of holds you through because typically your parents, by the time you kind of get to that stage, you're already taking them for granted. You think they don't know anything. You're smarter than everyone else, etc. So find that one person you're willing to listen to or as a sounding board. So that's lesson number one. Um, when you sort of talk to other people for advice or arrive at an auditorium like this and listen to other people thinking you'll hear pearls of wisdom, uh, I think take it with a pinch of salt, right? Everyone comes with their own baggage, their own biases. Uh, and they bring that to the table to influence your journey. Uh, but frankly, your journey is your own. You know, go ahead, make your own mistakes, fall down a couple of times, but have the conviction to follow through. Uh, pick yourself up, a little bit bruised and battered. Uh, but that's my thing that, you know, listen to people, but, you know, create your own interpretations of that, uh, including what I'm saying here. Uh, people will try and sort of put you in a box. Um, so now that we're doing a whole bunch of Instagram reels, thanks to Sanaya, uh, we're kind of put into this slot where we do a certain type of content uh, or certain type of projects. But, but, you know, feel free to reinvent yourself periodically. Um, so we all sort of set up walking towards these goals. Um, so at 18, you think you want to be an architect or an interior designer or a product designer. Doesn't mean you have to die at 60 being an architect or a product designer. Change your journey along the way. Become a lighting designer. Uh, become an art curator. Uh, so, so many, so many other options to become. Um, so that's my twin daughters and Ekta trying to break the box. Um, so again, this is more about changing goals. This is an installation we did. It's about the preamble. What you see is on the ceiling is the preamble to the Constitution of India. And what you see below is the reflection on a ramp. And um, that kind of shows you about, you know, your shifting goals. And you can keep moving them around a little bit as you go along. Uh, that's the thought. So, I mean, one of the goals that I bumped into on the way is actually uh, I became a part of a furniture manufacturing unit. So it was not something that I thought I'd ever do. Uh, but you know, five years into the practice, uh, this was something that I chanced upon. And just because I enjoy product and detailing, I thought it was a passion which I should pursue. Uh, now it, of course, is an entity of its own. And my family, sister, one of my uh, classmates from uh, SEPT, SID, uh, run the factory now. So I'm no longer involved in the day-to-day -day stuff. But it was something I was a part of starting. Again, not on the agenda to start with. Um, again, so uh, part of the thing is collaboration. Um, so if, if there's one more advice I have to give to people or a lesson I've learned is collaborate, 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 right? Collaborate with your friends, your family, your enemies, your contemporaries, 
your kids, uh, you know, just anyone who you think can do things differently from what you would do. Uh, they can help you attack a problem uh, from a different perspective. Uh, I think that sort of era of the master architect who kind of plays this demigod creator role is long gone, forgotten, and as much as it served a certain purpose in those days, I think it's, you know, I, I can't stress enough on how much collaborations have helped us. Um, and these are people who along the journey have stayed with us because uh, you'll see there are enough people in the image who are consistent. Um, but if, they're, uh, if their journey and your journey aligns, then they're the right collaborators for you. Uh, so, yeah, so this is me, basically the old Rajiv, lolling, not doing much, faffing. Uh, so my point being, don't be this. Um, I'm also eyeing for the AD cover, just not looking as good as that fellow. But, uh, but just go out there and, uh, how do I play the video, guys? Yeah. Just take the plunge, do your thing, you know, um, it might work for you, but 90% you'll figure out how to swim along the way. Um, so always look for, uh, I mean, because my firm name is Red, and it's about research, inquiry into design, every time I see anything, I see Red in it. It's, it's an obsession, it's something that I seek out even, so these are just words, you know, it's geared, random, dared, inspired, powered, I mean, everything is red. So when you're kind of following your journey, you'll always bump into your, um, your tribe, so to speak, you'll always find your thing. Uh, so I think the most important is to stay fired, and not fired in the sense, uh, don't let your employers terminate your employment, but just stay charged up, stay energized, stay, you know, stay on fire. Um, uh, again, you know, keeping with that collaborate, these are the series of collaborations we've done with other designers, with fashion designers, with, uh, you know, creative professionals in general. Uh, so find your people and collaborate with them. Uh, so from the lessons now, I'm jumping to the mistakes. Um, I have three minutes, 13 seconds left. Uh, so make them fearlessly. So I'm just showing you mistakes that we've made. So what you see on the, uh, on the left-hand side is the image of... Uh, Guys, how do I play the video? Yeah. So this is what we completed successfully. Uh, it's basically the whole library block. Uh, and that's how it looks when it's standing. But this is, uh, you know, the first version of it, or the second version, I forget. I think one before this had failed. I just couldn't find a video of it. Uh, but that's what happened to it, right? So it was 20 feet by 12 feet high, and we were trying to basically hook it up on one motor. It didn't get synchronized. So go for it. Um, this is something that uh, now we're doing a third version of this. Uh, it's a water body skylight. Uh, so this is recently on Buildify as Water Court House, uh, if you want to check out more details. Um, it's basically where we have a 17-foot by 14-foot glass skylight, which is flat uh, and has six inches of water on it. It's the middle of Delhi. Uh, the thought process was to bring light in, but not the heat. Um, but having said that, right now it looks beautiful with the rain and all of that looking on it. But if you look at the left, uh, that's a video of how it was leaking on day one, uh, the madness that went into putting it together. We actually broke one sheet of glass, which was massive. Um, it was leaking all the way down four stories. Uh, so lots of trauma, lots of... Uh, I, I wouldn't say it was a perfect execution from day one, but having said that, you know, we figured out solutions to the problems. Um, this is something else that we created as a part of the factory. The idea is, you know, a lot of clients have a lot of bags, uh, purses. Um, Excuse me. And you're always looking for, but you're not going to commit to that size. So there's always a need to change the size of the storage based on the configuration. So the left-hand side mock-up which you saw was very easy, right? So we tested it out, we did a mock-up. It seemed convenient. Um, and then we kind of realized that it's not as easy, it's not as smooth as you scale up. It's really hard to move around. So you need two people to push it in, two people to pull it out. Still work in progress. I still think this is a flawed idea. Uh, if someone has a better idea, please, you know, send a sketch or something to me. Uh, trying to figure out a flexible storage for high-end bags and purses, which can constantly change in size. Um, this was something else. So we have this thing where, uh, you know, we like the idea of doors um, having light in it, having televisions in it, having all sorts of technology in it, but continuing to perform the function of a door, whether it's to slide or open or shut. Uh, so this is where we basically did a simple onyx handle on an otherwise quiet door. Um, it worked out. Um, we didn't realize that when the wind comes and the door gets smashed, uh, the handle has shattered. So now we're sort of filling it with resin within, we're embedding the light within it. So still work in progress, um, but again. So this is, of course, I'm, I'm kind of a very popular basin designer now, so uh, that's what I seem to be enjoying. 
So this is a reel we put up which got a truckload of hits, etc. Some of you may have seen it, some may not. Uh, the idea is that it came up with this obsession where I want basins, uh, where the entire counter is a basin, so I can put stuff where I want to, but the entire counter is also where I can wash my face and spill as much water I want to without having to schlep it back into the bowl, or if it's an over-counter, sort of wipe it and then squeeze it dry. Uh, so it stemmed from that obsession to solve that problem. So here, uh, this is actually version three uh, or four uh, that we showcased here. But the mistakes I made before that is what I'm trying to show you guys. So there's an ugly pipe underneath which is visible, an acrylic piece which has fins in it, uh, which was scratched and filthy. Um, after that, we tried another one where there is actually a sheet of glass with a gap below. Forgive that ugly tissue paper box there. Uh, but we kind of did this, and you see there's patchwork below, there's broken pieces of marble. Uh, so it was still being tried and tested. Now we figured out a way where there's a trap door and the entire basin drainage is hidden within the marble, which is concealed in two grooves. Uh, but uh, yeah, time is also up. That's the last one. Uh, this is a door that we did with uh, AJSK. Uh, each panel weighs one and a half ton. Um, I'm going to go back for a minute. Um, it opens. Uh, there are these two torsion bearings under the hinges. Uh, which were embedded into the floor when the RCC was getting cast, which is how it takes the weight without bending or sagging even now. It's been more than a year and a half that it's installed. Made out of some 682 pieces of glass, uh, double layered. Uh, the problems that we had with it was, if you see in the next slide, it was fogging up uh, because the UV glue we used was reacting to sunlight. Um, in another detail, which you can't see here, we tried to make it out of a single sheet of glass and then we beveled it in that, but there were rounded edges. Uh, in a third version, we were getting condensation because the inside was air-conditioned and the outside was not. So between the two glasses, there was condensation. Uh, so eventually, we solved all of these issues. Uh, but having said that, the idea was committed to. Uh, the thought was committed to. The fact that we were going to do it was committed to. It was just about figuring out the how. Uh, so I think go ahead, make your mistakes, uh, and figure out your own journey. Is my two bits which I've learned um, in my few years of practice. Thank you.